benefit for me sharing with you, but we all need to understand that. Moving on to the next slide. So where is cloud computing heading to? Which is again very important. So we have been hearing a lot about cloud, mobile, but at the same time, we also need to hear from the experts and understand what uh, they are saying and where it is heading to. Because everything that goes up is always set to come down. So <laughs> it it's, it's should not be always the case, but still we need to understand where it is heading to. So again, uh, the trend of large vendors entering cloud computing will accelerate, which means most of the IT giants have already announced various initiatives in cloud and they are still going to enter a particular space. All major integrated development environments will offer cloud deployment options, which means that as a developer, you don't have to own the, um, the, the software for your uh, for, for developing anything and everything can be accessed on cloud and you can avoid installing those uh, integrated development environments or any other development environments on your uh, personal machines next generation of middleware for cloud will rise in dominance over traditional application uh, servers so, so this is again a very very uh, important statement that we need to really keep uh, eye on and some of the experts from Gartner IDC Gartner says like at the year end 2016 more than 50 percent of global thousand companies will have stored customer sensitive data in the public cloud and it's a similar statement by IDC which says that cloud computing maturing this year more organizations will start to move their IT infrastructure from on-premise to off-premise. These are some of the statements from the experts. So having understood where the cloud computing is heading to, let's understand. So this was all about uh, the social business, uh, what is the mobility, how why it is important and uh, how cloud computing can help where it is heading. But now let's understand some key considerations like if somebody wants to uh, have a, such kind of an environment up and running within their, their organization, the considerations. So here I'm going to talk, taking an uh, example of uh, IBM stack. Okay. So this slides tells about the core components of social business. So since we now understood what the social business is, so what forms the social business from a technology point of view? Okay. So the core components which I want to highlight here is portal and content management. This, this becomes the basically the starting point. Like for example, why do we need portal? Like since it provides an integrated workplace environment, to web contents, applications, and and other uh, data sources from from uh, different third-party applications, which can give you, you a personalized uh, set of uh, data or experience for any type of users, whether it is internet, intranet, or maybe extranet users. Because everything coming under a single roof helps authorized users to get personalized view of data, search contents based on the important uh, artifacts, and at the end of the day, they, they get a, as I said, the integrated workplace kind of an environment with rich user interface by having a portal and a proper uh, seamless content management. So the typical uh, IBM stack is IBM Web Server Portal and uh, IBM Web Content Manager. Secondly, the collaboration tools, which provides social collaboration capabilities for uh, business, including like 
sharing of thoughts in terms of blogs, communities in terms of posting comments, profiling, searching the right, right expert wherever they are, activities and shared bookmarks. Okay, it, it helps people uh, to share any kind of knowledge, best practices, or, or any kind of information, uh, starting from uh, connecting to the right people uh, within a large organization. Uh, it's very important to connect to the right people at the right time, wherein people working in different geographic regions, different time zones. So uh, there needs to be a strong, robust platform for us so that people can collaborate with each other. So within IBM Stack, uh, you can find IBM Connections as one of the. On the messaging and uh, presence awareness, that is online and real-time communication with one or several people using instant messaging, in order to prove or improve customer, uh, uh, customer services, prompt response and immediate solutions to problems, uh, are, are always highly appreciable. So in order to uh, address those, you need to have an online and a real-time communication channel. And how you can achieve is for uh, um, uh, mail messaging, you have IBM notes. And for uh, instant messaging, uh, you can take an example of IBM same time. On the mobile front, uh, you, know, you, you need to consider a multi-channel access to information anytime and anywhere. So you have a lot of options in here, like uh, you can mobile applications using IBM Web Experience Pack, Web Application Developer, IBM uh, Mobile Portal Accelerator, and with the recent acquisition last year is IBM Worklight. And in the analytics segments, which helps measure web traffic, that can be used as a tool for business and market research and to access and improve the effectiveness of a, a website. So you have options from the IBM Stack again, Core Metrics, Unica, T Leave, and, and the right choice should be made based on what is the business requirement. So this is the overall. Uh, component uh, structure of, of a social business, what, what forms a social business, if uh, I have to give an example of an IBM stack here, in this case. Since my, my uh, practice area is IBM, so I have uh, taken this uh, example of IBM, so you have to excuse me for that. Moving on to the next slide. Like, how does the cloud service model work? What are the typical options? Cloud service offering are available in three standards, three, three service model, that is infrastructure as a service, platform as a service. I would not spend much time on basically explaining each and every service because I'm quite sure in the last uh, uh, series of webinars, so you, you must have found and I just want to brush up this, uh, these are the typical cloud service models like platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, and software uh, as, as a service. So just a quick snapshot of all these uh, uh, service models. Moving on to the next slide again. So I have already touched base this in the mobile that you have, like IBM Rational Application Developer, which is a simpler and uh, a streamlined way to uh, develop uh, Java based applications and it also supports a service oriented uh, architecture uh, in, in terms of uh, integrating the third party applications. Likewise you have a web experience factory, uh, Supercharge is a delivery of enterprise ready standards based 2.0 applications which rich interactive interfaces that deliver exceptional web experience to desktop browsers, smartphones and tablet devices. And as I mentioned uh, with the recent acquisition last year, IBM Worklight gives you uh, more flexibility in terms of uh, not only uh, mobile uh, web applications for mobile but also native as well as hybrid applications. 
all these environments can be implemented on cloud and developers can leverage the services without actually installing them on the local uh, machines. But while choosing on a particular option, organization has to understand very clearly what will suit their business requirement and also the pros and cons of each uh, ID. Okay. Moving on to the next slide. So based on the, the, the concept, I have tried to come up with a very high level architectural view of how a, a, a social business concept, which if you enter peace, like all components of, of social business core components, if that can be offered as a cloud service, okay, you know, it could be uh, uh, infrastructure as a service, as a platform as a service, or maybe if you want to uh, deploy any, any software solution, so software as a service onto the, the cloud, wherein the cloud service developer, they, they keep keep developing various services and they deploy through the VPN network or enterprise network onto the cloud and uh, you have this virtual infrastructure, virtualized infrastructure uh, which takes care of your servers uh, or uh, high-end uh, boxes that is high capacity servers, storage capacity and the, the network which is typically taken care by the cloud service uh, provi uh, provider when it comes to managing and uh, maintaining those uh, resources. And uh, finally, the, the cloud service consumers who accesses these uh, services based on their need uh, through a user interface which can be accessed through a laptop, a computer or any kind of a smartphone or a basic phone as well. And there are APIs which helps them to uh, which basically established that uh, connectivity between the social business uh, concept with the user uh, interface. And, and uh, all, all these uh, product stack has got a capability to expose REST APIs okay, so that they can uh, leverage their uh, services. Uh, if some of the services are not available as out of the box, if somebody wants to customize on top of everything, so they can use those services. So this is a typical uh, architectural view, high level, and again, very specific example for a cloud deployment, but definitely is a high level snapshot. So having understood uh, how how does it going to benefit the organization? Uh, like uh, it should not just um, be be using the, uh, the the cloud services just for the sake of using, or maybe uh, just for the sake of since um, other companies are moving towards. So they need to understand what benefits they should uh, get. So definitely it has some potential and competitive advantage. So, and, and at the same time it should not be just uh, using another social networking tool for fun. It should be how to blend social networking tools so that companies should be able to transform that it should not be another Facebook or uh, Twitter, but it should be how to use Facebook, Twitter or similar kind of a social networking tool in order to bring that business transformation. So decision making should be better and faster, so that is something which definitely it's, it's one of the benefits because any correct decision taken at the right time decides the success and the growth of uh, the organization. Thirdly is it helps building deeper relationships among the employees, customers, partners. It's, it's very easy to break a relationship but it takes a tremendous amount of effort and time to build a relationship. Adding values to your business and help organization grow. That is create differentiators by adding these values. It is 
it is like asking like yourself as i mentioned earlier uh, why should a customer come to you for availing your services only why why should not he go to other uh, competitors and access web applications and, and uh, contents on the move and collaborate with peers business partners through mobile devices this increases productivity and efficiency at times deploying uh, on everything on the uh, cloud uh, definitely will get uh, rid of maintaining your own infrastructure and uh, paying a huge amount of licenses and support fee to other vendors instead why not have everything on on the and just uh, access the services and definitely it would help reduce cost on the hardware infrastructure and implementation caused by using uh, cloud services so these are some of the typical benefits which uh, any any uh, cloud offering especially if you implement your social business on cloud which can be accessed on uh, through mobile devices uh, since I've been just talking on the concept, I thought let me share a couple of business scenarios in order to make you understand how this cloud offering can really help. So I have taken an example of social learning. So as we all know that uh, every organization spends a huge amount of uh, money on uh, learning, like competency development. So in our, it's, it's nothing but a centralized e-learning portal solution if you can have with a, a, a personalization, customization, categorization, okay, and, and which can have uh, uh, a, a specific learning management tool like Moodle, Saba, Cornerstone, which is implemented uh, for an enterprise. But how does one uh, leverage these learning uh, tools in a unified uh, uh, gateway or, or in a uh, portal dashboard uh, format. So it is not just uh, learning through or uh, reading books or uh, reading um, some, some kind of uh, reference document or uh, attending the web-based training, but it, it, it is all about how to collaborate if I need uh, to clarify any doubt on the fly do I have the right tool so that I can get the needed help from my peer or maybe from the instructor while going through this uh, uh, any kind of uh, courses so do I have the right collaboration tool in, in the platform so it's basically nowadays we have seen the learning is going into the social way so, so that everybody wants to learn by collaborating with each other it's no more a self-learning so how uh, the, the why it is like a social business because the social business uh, solution is already like going to uh, help organization in order to allow them to collaborate among their employees in order to acquire knowledge using social networking uh, tools as I mentioned like IBM connection is a, a typical uh, social networking tool which can help uh, employees to collaborate with uh, each other and the offering should be made available in such a way that they can access it on the on the uh, move so to any kind of mobile devices it should be made accessible they should be able to uh, access information register for a course if, if any kind of payment needs to be uh, uh, made any kind of reminders that needs to go everything should be available on smartphone so that it allows them to respond accordingly as well and the deployment model lies on, on cloud so that you don't have to actually worry about uh, the infrastructure cost or renewing the licenses, maintaining those high-end servers and if you want to quickly grow your user base from uh, X to 2X, you can definitely uh, demand your service provider accordingly so that there is a rapid uh, or provisioning for the increased number of users. Another scenario which I wanted to share was a agent portal for, for insurance uh, agent. As uh, agents are always on the move, they uh, need to have a quick access to 
the policy related information, any kind of news or information that are being shared by the insurance companies, which they should be uh, actually conveying it to the, the uh, customers um, at the right time so that the customers are made well aware of what all new product launches are, are being made by the company, what are the benefits, okay, and, and how um, it can be easily positioned in, in the market. So insurance agents have always uh, been, been working in a disparate mode. So any kind of a portal solution which can make them access information, collaborate with other agents. Okay, if some customers who wants to collaborate with uh, uh, the agents or if the agent wants to collaborate with the uh, product manager of the insurance company, they really need to have a, a, the, the, the right collaboration tool so that they can work uh, in, a, uh, uh, in a tight collaboration manner which is like a social collaboration irrespective of the geography and the data and the timelines. Okay. At times agents need to send quotation by email and then submit claim settlements through multi-channel mode. So how do they do that? So if they don't have uh, the applications which can be accessed on mobile, uh, they will not be able to share the information. So, so this is another typical uh, use case which can be thought of in order to validate this social business. Again, infrastructure wise it can be deployed on cloud environment, <coughs> me, cloud environment so that tomorrow if the number of uh, grow, you can do a rapid provisioning accordingly as you have more and more agents in place. So these are the business scenarios which I thought I should be sharing in order to make you understand that how the social business and it can be leveraged on, implemented on cloud and can be accessed through mobile devices. So coming to the conclusion part, so social business is becoming the lifestyle in every business and deploying social business on cloud will help organize, reduce the overall operating cost for IT and additionally making the services available on cloud to mobile will make stakeholders work efficiently and gain productivity. So with this, with this, I wanted to also mention probably this uh, some couple of uh, slides to come to an end. Uh, what I wanted to highlight here is uh, that the concept of this mobile social business on cloud was awarded uh, one of the best uh, conceptual paper in IBM Tech Forum, which is organized by Developer Works last year in Bangalore, wherein this was awarded as one of the good conceptual paper under the category mobile platforms and, and uh, solutions. So I thought let me just highlight this and share this achievement with you all. So uh, with this, uh, uh, I would uh, again thank all of you and uh, yeah, if there are any questions, uh, I think I should be addressing them now.